you see. You see that he himself, you know, according to uh, Ozem and Ansuwe now, also had that practice of itunzu, you know. Uh -huh. So, Igbo be Igbo. <laughs> Let's communicate. You all come back to Straight Report on Airborne and the 103.5 FM. I am Martin Ifa and Shukwe Kizir number the first, you know. So, Oladi uh, Ekwano or Gustavus Vasa, the African, regarded as being a campaigner of abolition of slave trade and was very instrumental in maintaining law and order among the Igbos in Jamaica during the 1776 Mosquito Shore Scheme. You know, uh, Ekwano's impact was so much that the Gog, like Gogo, celebrated his birthday with a dodo. That is a, a situation whereby if you get on Gogo now, that, that name, Gogo, at the time, it, it was decorated with Ekwano, you know, his picture and, and stuff. So he, he, they celebrated him. Just the way they celebrated Chino Ashebe on his own birthday, the day they said, like, Gogo celebrated Chino Ashebe on, on a particular day, you know. Uh, so that same way, Ekwano was celebrated as well. So, uh, Oladu Ekwano, you know, observed that certain aspects of African religion believe resembles those found in Judaism and Christianity. You know, as one of you, have you observed this same thing? Have you observed that there is something, you know, you know, like for example, now, Oladu Ekwano said something about circumcision. Circumcision. Igbo people, nya, ibe ugu, ibe ugu. Ndi ibe mebegie before kabia. You know, uh -huh. so that alone will show you that we have similarities with some of the things that is being practiced in Christianity and Judaism. So if you have observed this and you know of any, the numbers to call to become part of this conversation are 080-9444-1035 or 080-9666-1035. Colin, so we have this conversation. Let's educate ourselves on truly who we are. Let's know who we are, where we are coming from. We need to retrace back. Willie. Hello? Hello? Oh, wow. Okay. Remember that the numbers to call again to become part of this conversation are 080 9444 1035 or 080 Have you seen? I've given you an example now. The Igbo people practice. Ibu Ugu, that is circumcision before, you know, even Christianity came to Ibu land. So, what other practices do we have in Ibu land that resembles like, uh, that has similarities with the practices in Christendom and Judaism, basically? And some of these practices I'm talking about have been there for a long time. Kemberi. You know, we use it as an expression, all of us, as Igbo people. When I say Kemberi. You know, and since Kemberi, you know, <laughs> we have practiced circumcision. What other practice do you think that Igbo people, like what we do, that looks similar with that of Christendom and Judaism? You know. Yeah, most times I had a like a the education I ain't like a I know just the trend and trend. Why can't we control the trend and get back to the real thing? You know, so we know exactly what we are supposed to be doing in the trend, what is obtainable. 
you know uh, let's get this call hello okay we lost that as well okay